What's up, fight fans? Welcome to Mr. Mustache MMA News. Today, I want to discuss an upcoming heavyweight bout at this Saturday's UFC 299. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly to help the channel grow. All right, guys, getting right into it. We got Curtis Blades taking on Jailton Almeida in the heavyweight division this Saturday, UFC 299. In a bout where I like the style, I like the matchup. You got two wrestling grapple heavy fighters going at it you know like who's gonna be the who's gonna be the more efficient grappler in this fight i love this this reminds me a lot of uh usman and colby covington at welterweight you got blades who is probably the heavyweight takedown king just a smothering approach he's got some hands as well he's got some heavy hands he's has he's built up a very good resume just hasn't really been able to get there to that title shot he's had his hiccups He's fought Francis twice, didn't go his way both times. Had the fight against Derek Lewis when he was on his own streak. And then here against Gileton Almeida. But Gileton, his stock has dropped a little bit since his, his lackluster win over Derek Lewis in a fight where he just really couldn't do much. He couldn't really perform. So he just kind of used his top game to do his best to just kind of grind out a victory. And he, he did what he had to do, you know. To get that next spot, but it, it, it didn't make him look good, it didn't help his stock. So a little bit of that hype, a little bit of that aura around Almeida has disappeared a bit. And Curtis could definitely go out there and capitalize on this. And you have Almeida too, who's a little bit of a tweener. I think he weighs about 230, 240. You know, going against these guys at heavyweight, they're leg legit heavyweights. You know, and I know that Curtis got knocked out by Derek Lewis and Almeida went out there and beat Derek Lewis, but like like MMA doesn't work. It's not a thing. It's just not it's just not a thing. You know, and Blades, he's coming off that TKO loss to Sergey Pavlovich, but who hasn't been knocked out by Sergey aside from Tom Aspinall and Alistair Overeem? But I just I think I think Blades is gonna have the size. So I mean if Almeida struggles on getting those takedowns or if he's not able to get the finish early. And then round two starts, I think Blades is going to be the more fresh guy. I think he's going to have the cardio. I think he's going to have the hands to match. Yeah, I think this is a real big test to see how good Almeida truly is. Because even though he did have a lackluster performance against Derek Lewis, let's not forget he did get the victory. He did kind of like dominate a lot of those grappling positions. So I'm curious to see how he can handle against somebody who can equal his grappling, equal his strength, and then possibly even have the upside in the striking as well. So I, I, I expect adversity for Almeida. I expect adversity for Blades. But it's really just about who's going to get broken here. And you got two big heavyweights. I like this fight. I love this matchup. I hope to see grappling. I hope we, I hope we don't see two wrestlers become strikers. I'd like to see like who's the better grappler out of these two guys. That would be really interesting. Um, that's going to do it for today, guys. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think for this heavyweight matchup. Curtis Blades versus Jonathan Almeida. Mr. Mustache, MMA News out. Let's fucking go, fight fans.